Yeah, hi, I'm, I'm Christian. I'm doing a portfolio management of technology project portfolio in uh, the company Grundfos. Yeah, selection uh, processes. When we are in a situation where discussions is uh, going in circles again and again and again, then uh, there's a need to change the selection process. Uh, we need we need a decision. So clearly, that's we need to change that. Um, and um, and I've I've tried out a tool in a specific situation uh, for uh, for some very early stage projects where we uh, where we estimated uh, the business opportunities, and I felt that uh, that tool really well. But uh, trying to transfer that into other situations that was actually uh, really difficult to do because it was a very dedicated tool. So I, I needed some change there, some, some better ways of, of facilitating a decision process. I very much used the, uh, uh, the process that uh, I developed together with, uh, uh, with uh, Rick Mitchell in, uh, in the STEM consortium. Starting from, uh, from looking into which factors are actually important, um, I've seen, uh, I've seen uh, scoring tools develop into 50 factors, that's really too much. So, um, uh, so using a small number of factors. And then a really important key point, uh, the, the anchoring statements, because people tend to score between one and five, but what is really one, what is really five. So explaining what, is, uh, what does uh, three mean and align across uh, the different factors, that's a really important part of that. So following the process step by step, uh, that's the way I designed the tool. The reaction I got from, uh, from using the tool was, so is this too much bureaucracy? Now another tool, so we need to spend time on that. And what is really the value? Uh, so to overcome some of this resistance, uh, I recorded the time that we spent to develop the to tool and the time spent to, uh, to use the tool for, uh, for the first time and, and did, a, did a small pilot. And that, uh, that helped overcome the resistance uh, because when people know it's really only three, four hours to develop a tool and 15 minutes to put in data for each, uh, data for each project, um, then the resistance is not so high. Then people can see it's worth the effort. It helped to structure the discussion uh, and the decision, decision process uh, in order to take one factor at a time and have that discussion. Um, and it also helped to increase the data quality and when we look at across uh, different uh, projects. And then it helped actually very much in, um, also in, in building up new tools also for different things that selecting, uh, selecting between projects. We use the tool for for scoring how valuable is our technology development. So we built a new tool to, uh, to score a, a technology we did develop. Um, how much value does it have? Is it, has it been implemented? And in that way, it creates a lot of credibility to our organization that we're able to explain the value of what we are doing. So, and for me, it makes that I know I can make a tool in three, four hours and I know how little effort it takes actually to, uh, to score and get some data. It makes me very confident that I don't need to build tools up front for, for all decision processes. When I meet a problem and I can see discussions going in circles, then I know I can actually take this uh, tool from the toolbox and, uh, and build it from, from scratch. So it makes me co more confident as a technology manager.